Central Park, the place where New Yorkers and visitors come to play, reflect, and recover from the stress of life in one of the loudest, busiest, most crowded cities on Earth. It's known around the world as an enduring symbol of New York City. 42 million times a year, people come here to share New York City's backyard. Safe, free, and open to all. Its story dates to the 1840s, when New York was the most populous city in the Western Hemisphere, and its population was growing exponentially. As immigrants poured into Manhattan, private and gated enclaves were developed only for the well-to-do residents of surrounding homes. Many social reformers felt this was inconsistent with American values, and understood that a public park could reverse the situation. In 1857, Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Fox were chosen to bring to life what was then a bold idea, a new city park, open to everyone. They set out to resolve this tear in the social fabric by creating a space designed to bring all people together regardless of their backgrounds. Although it's true that the park is human-made, the park's massive rocks are not. They are exposed portions of ancient bedrock, which heavily influenced how the park was designed and built. Workers excavated, removed, and reset about 476,000 cubic yards of rock. Much of it had to be blasted away to create the park's four sunken transverse roads that separate east-west traffic from the landscape. These transverse roads were a required element of the design competition. Olmsted and Vox hid them below the landscape, out of sight from parkgoers a feature that preserves the park's sense of quiet isolation, while allowing the city to go about its business. During its life, Central Park has experienced cycles of neglect and resurgence. Its low point came in the 1970s. Mismanagement and economic decline combined to turn the park into a lawless dust bowl. Its beautiful landscapes eroding, infrastructure crumbling, garbage piling up. Then, the people of New York City stepped in to save their park. The nonprofit Central Park Conservancy was set up in 1980. Its mission to restore, manage, and enhance Central Park in partnership with the public. Since then, the Conservancy has invested more than $1 billion fulfilling that ongoing mission. Hundreds of projects in every part of the park, a complete transformation. But the Conservancy's work runs even deeper. Daily maintenance, tree care, cleaning the water bodies, monitoring and working to mitigate the effects of climate change, public programming inviting people from all neighborhoods in New York to come play, relax, and find respite in this living masterpiece, working with researchers to explore the history of the park and the pre-park, including Seneca Village, the largest community of African-American landowners in pre-Civil War New York, in recent years, the Conservancy has worked to improve accessibility with new ramps and paths to major entrances, as well as renovated restrooms and improved playgrounds, among other efforts. Another reminder that all are welcome here. Central Park is a masterpiece of human creative genius. It is a place of beauty, wonder, solitude, togetherness, play, rest, and solace a historic, pioneering public space free and open to all, and a model for urban parks all over the world. <laughs>